Disgraced celebrity publicist Max Clifford has died in hospital, aged 74, after collapsing in prison. Clifford collapsed in his cell at Little Hay Prison in Cambridgeshire on Thursday and again on Friday, his daughter said. He was taken to hospital where he suffered a cardiac arrest. He had been serving an eight-year sentence for historical sex offences. The Ministry of Justice said as with all deaths in custody, there would an investigation by the Ombudsman. The miss came as a surprise because Irving had been hitting shots left and right, not only Friday night, but for the past three weeks. The Ministry of Justice confirmed Clifford died in hospital on 10 December. During this trial, evidence was heard about Clifford's manipulative behavior, including how he promised to boost the careers of aspiring models and actresses in return for sexual favors. After his convictions, he continued to protest his innocence. The Court of Appeal was due to hear his case appealing against his sentence in the new year. Clifford's lawyer, John Sipiotofsky, said his death meant there were a number of unresolved legal issues. He said he Clifford was suing News International and Mirror Group newspapers for allegedly hacking his phone. The lawyer also said Clifford was being sued by a number of women who claimed he had sexually assaulted them. Mr. Sipiotofsky said his legal team would meet in the coming days to decide whether Clifford's criminal appeal case should continue. He said Clifford had been receiving legal aid for the appeal, after being declared bankrupt earlier this year and having to sell his Surrey home to pay his debts. He had helped to launch the career of the Beatles by sending press releases about their debut single, Love Me Do, when record company bosses were unsure about the group's potential. High-profile clients came to him because of his connections in the tabloid press, while journalists turned to Clifford to provide stories. However, after 50 years in the showbiz industry allegations against him began to emerge.